In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you look bad in Dr. Brian's boots. And I promise you, by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to style these beautiful boots. We're gonna talk about what boots to choose, why and how you're styling it in a not so appealing way, and also my favorite ways to style these. This video is brought to you by Dr. Brian's itself, Let's get it. So the first mistake is not picking the right boot for you. So let's just say your style leans a little more chic. You know, you tend to wear more collared shirts, button ups and all that. You like to look nice. You're probably better off with a non lace up version to be a little more sleek, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So now you're probably asking yourself, what boots work for me? Do I go for the more tactical looking ones? Do I get the platform ones, the really tall ones? Well, let me just keep it simple for you. It's called personal style because it's supposed to be personal. I know. Crazy revelation. So let me just use myself as an example. When I was living in New York City and I had to commute by foot and public transportation, well, the East Coast is pretty known for cold weather, blizzards, lots of precipitation. So yeah, you bet I'd want a winterized boot. So something like this model right here, this is the 1460s and the 1460s is a classic, which I would recommend for anyone in general. It's an original icon. I know y'all have come across before, but this one right here is based off that. This is still a 1460 model, but it comes fleece lined and has a much more attractive look in my opinion. It's also water repellent, which is a necessity if you commute by public transportation and on foot. So to answer your question, it really depends on you, your personal style, and especially your environment. I also own these Chelsea boots that are winterized as well, but right now I live in Vegas, so these aren't gonna be worn as much, which is why I have the classic Chelsea boots, which is just a smooth leather, not fleece line, and more wearable for the environment that I'm currently in. Now that's just me as an example, but if your style leans more towards that street chic look, you wanna go with this smooth leather Chelsea boot, it'll definitely suit that style a whole lot more. If you are a more rugged person, you like to wear a lot of denim, denim jackets, workwear jackets, stuff like that, you'd probably want a lace-up boot. And if you're more of a fashion enthusiast, take a look at their collaborations and their more eclectic styles. That'll probably suit you a whole lot more. Because no matter what type of person you are and whatever style you lean towards, Dr. Martens has a boot for you. And you just gotta pick the right one. So if there were three that I recommend, definitely the Chelsea boots, one lace-up boot, probably the 1460 classic, and the third one is a brown boot. So now that you have a sense of what Dr. Martens boots are for you, the biggest mistake causing you to look bad in these boots is your pant game. It is that important, I'm telling y'all. But before we get into that, I gotta show y'all the boots I'll be styling today, brought to you by Dr. Martens itself. They are sponsoring today's video. I talked about this one earlier. This is the 1460 fleece lined sub boot. This is meant for the winter time. So if you live in a cold climate, it precipitates a lot and snows a lot, you're definitely gonna want these because these are fleece lined, keeping your toes and your foot warmer. And it's also water repellent. It's going to keep your feet dry. We all hate when water gets into your sneakers, your boots and all that. Worst feeling ever. This, you don't gotta worry about it. Me personally, this one just has a more attractive look than the classic 1460s, which don't get me wrong, it's a classic. It's an original icon. I love that boot. But this one doesn't have the yellow stitching. It's just a clean all black boot. And then I have these Jarek 2 platform boots. Super thick outsole, which can give you a lot of inches. We all appreciate some extra inches, right? They also have plenty of other platform styles that look great as well. Awesome pair. And next is one of my favorites, the brown crazy horse boot. Like I said earlier, a brown boot is a good choice to start off with. And this color is beautiful and immediately starts to wear out and develop a patina, which over time, the more you wear these, this going to be 100% your very own boots as everybody wears out their boots differently. As you can see right on the toe box, I have a crease right there starting to patina on the sides as well. Can't go wrong with these. And then I have two pairs of smooth leather Chelsea boots. I have the winterized version and the classic Chelsea boot. The smooth leather Chelsea boots just look so much more elegant in my opinion. You can easily dress it up. And so those are the boots that we will be styling today. I would highly recommend any of these boots to start off with or to upgrade with your wardrobe. You can never have enough boots. But if you want to pick one up, I'll leave all those links down in the description. Open up all those links in different tabs. Read about every single boots. Figure out which one is good for you. But trust me, anything in their 1460 line will cover pretty much any style. Once again, those links will be right down in the description. And thank you, Dr. Marins, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to telling y'all why you look bad in these boots. All right, fellas. <laughs> the pants you're wearing, it matters a whole lot, okay? The pants are everything. So, this shouldn't go with this boot. This feels eh, mismatched. And this one, eh, color pairing doesn't work. I'm gonna repeat myself again. Your pants are the biggest reason why you look bad in Dr. Martin's boots. And now you're probably asking, what pants should I wear? Should I drape it over the boot? Should I cuff it? Is that even cool? What about cinching it? What colors work? See, nowadays we're on that drape train, right? So we like to drape everything over our sneakers. And that's cool, but when it comes to doing that with these boots, 
you're covering up the entire silhouette and it kind of looks like you're just draping a pair of pants over some regular black sneakers. And that's called wasted potential. Now don't get me wrong, I still do it occasionally, but where these boots really shine is when you showcase the entire shape and silhouette of the boot. Because if you're gonna drape and cover the boot, you might as well get their sneakers version. But this isn't a sneakers video. So first off, I'm gonna recommend you cinch or cuff your pants. And you wanna do this with wide and relaxed fitting pants. This is when they really shine. Because here's what happens when you do that. Around your thigh area, all the way down to your calf, it's a lot more wide fitting. And when you cuff and cinch your pants, you just get a really nice profile and silhouette. So you got that wide fit, and then it cuts off or cinches into the top of the boots. And this is a silhouette you can only get with boots, by the way. And I just think it looks so good. Of course, occasionally, drape over the boots. You can get a nice profile with that. But 99% of the time, I'm cuffing my pants or cinching them. But if you do this, you can also make it look really bad. If you have super balloon fitting pants and then you cinch your pants into your boots or blousing your boots, if you don't do it right, the pants can actually drape over the cinch and you just have this mushroom look and it looks horrible. So be careful of balloon fitting pants. I would stick to more wide fit and relaxed fit. Now let's go on the other end. Super slim pants, bro. Don't wear them with these boots, trust me. Unless you're really tall, which offsets the proportions of the really slim pants and the boots in general, it just doesn't look good. Now, when you go to slim straight and beyond, straight fit, wide fit, relaxed fit, up until balloon fit, now we're talking. Because Dr. Martin's boots have that sole, right? That really thick outsole. Your pants just need some room to really complement these boots. Now, here's what I would recommend. Take a pair of your Dr. Martin's boots, style it with every single one of your pants. Drape it, cuff it, cinch it, do all of that, and see what looks good. But now let's talk about color. Color is one of those make or breaks when it comes to styling these boots. Now, Dr. Martens has a ton of colors for their boots. They have green ones, white ones, and all that. Like I said, I would stick to the black and brown. So obviously, black pants are going to look awesome with them. But personally, I would suggest being a little bit careful when you dive into the more pastel and lighter colors. Now I see online people pair these a lot with light blue wash denim and they look great in it. I know I don't. Main reason why is I'm five foot seven, but I wear size 10 and a half or 11, okay? Those proportions are crazy. So pairing them with lighter pants just doesn't look good for me. That's why I pair it with darker colors and black pants because the silhouette is just more streamlined. But that's enough talking. Let me just show you some outfits. I'm gonna break them down and I'm gonna give you some more tips. Let's get it. All right, fellas. So for this first outfit, it's going to be very similar to what I'm wearing right now. And so our boot of choice is going to be these platform ones. So I have these wider fitting cargo pants. I'm going to be cuffing them. That way I can show off the boots. Now for the top, we have an oversized button up right here. And then we have this corduroy vest. So a little bit of a pop of color, but instead of this beanie, I'm just gonna throw a basic black cap. And to be honest, this fit is very simple, but we are layering in a way that is kind of untraditional. You know, a button up shirt with a vest, a little bit untraditional, but because it's oversized, you can get away with it. Now, I wanna ask you, do you think it looks better if it's cuffed or draped over the boots? Let me know in the comments down below. I can go either way, but I prefer the cuff. This fit does take some inspiration from Asian streetwear, so we are going to stay on this train for this next fit, which we will be styling the smooth leather Chelsea boot. Now, of course, the Chelsea boot is a little bit more elegant, sophisticated looking compared to the other boots. So you can dress it up like I mentioned earlier, but we're not gonna be styling it with some smart trousers. We're actually gonna be styling it with some Japanese Hakama style pants. These pants are super wide and they are cropped so that you can showcase your boot a whole lot more. So you see this a lot in Japanese streetwear, Korean streetwear, they love boots. And I think these pair so well with the pants. For our top, we're gonna go with a Stan collar shirt. Basically, it's inspired by a traditional Chinese Mandarin collar shirt and then we have this Japanese workwear type of jacket of course we just have the gray beanie and then we have a sling across the body I just love the entire shape that this fit has I love the pop of color and just like the last fit it is very simple in concept but we're just using a little bit more unique designs so the wider fitting pants the stand collar instead of a regular button up the patchwork jacket instead of a regular color jacket now this next fit any of y'all can pull this off so I have basically a little template all you need are some wide fitting cargo pants and we're gonna be styling this 1460 boot right here. So yeah, we're gonna start with the cargo pants and I just want you to throw on a basic hoodie. And to really complement these rugged boots, we're gonna go with more traditionally rugged pieces. So denim jackets, flannels, bomber jackets, stuff like that. But take my advice on this, okay? I want you to go to your family members, your 
dad, your uncles, see if they're willing to pass along some of their pieces to you. So this denim jacket I got from my dad, he bought it in the 80s, but it looks so much different than denim jackets made today. It's got a wider cut. I love the wash on this. It's very sentimental to me and it just adds to my personal style. So if you get a piece from your family members, that's already going to add to your personal style because it has sentimental value. And for this next fit, we're gonna go with basically what every New Yorker wears, all black, baby. So this time I'm gonna be wearing the black winter rise Chelsea boots. I'm gonna be visiting New York in the winter time. I'm rocking this. So black cargo pants, I'm gonna throw on this crew neck right here. And to add a little bit of texture in the neck area and to be able to keep my face warm, I'm throwing on this neck gaiter. And to complete this fit, I have a very warm parka jacket that's water repellent, very cozy and has a good shape to it. I'm also gonna throw on this sling bag with a pop of color from the accessory. And there you have a nice winter rise fit that is very functional and very warm. For the final fits, we're gonna be styling this beautiful brown boot, but this time we're gonna go monochromatic. So I love styling brown boots with olive cargo pants. Olive and brown are a classic because of nature. I have this olive green hoodie and this olive green parka, but to break up the fits a bit, we're gonna add a white underlayer shirt. This is also going to keep me a little bit warmer. As you can see, I cuffed my pants as well, but let's go with a brown monochromatic fit and we're gonna be cinching the pants. So yeah, I got a brown hoodie and I got a white cap to match with the undershirt and we're gonna be layering with the vest in the same color as the hoodie. And the reason why you wanna do this is so that you can add texture to your fit and also shape because from a side profile, you're gonna get a visual protrusion of the garments because this vest has some puff to it. So yeah, fellas, that is why you look bad in Dr. Martin's boots. But now that you finished a Johnny Ty video, that's not gonna happen anymore. I told you, fellas, I got you. If you guys have any tips to drop, let me and the other people know in the comments down below. And until then, stay fly, check out Dr. Martin's boots. They have some great stuff, deuces.